Good afternoon. I'm 41 meteorologist Kim Adams. A beautiful afternoon here in Metro Detroit. It is dry, just a little bit humid. We'll talk about our next chance for rain as showers are coming to an end this evening. Christy. Also ahead, a Detroit detective cross-examined in the Samantha Wall murder case. What he says about some critical video surveillance. Plus, here's Paula. Art has the ability to change everything. Just ask Scott. Do you have any challenges or disabilities? No, I don't. See how he has beaten the odds to do what the experts say he could never do. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News First at 4 starts now. Good afternoon to you and thanks so much for being with me. I'm Christy McDonald. Karen Drew will join us in just a few minutes. But first, here at 4, a Detroit police officer testifies about tracking a suspect on video in the Samantha Wall murder case. Today, a homicide detective was asked to break down video after video of someone walking downtown and then in the area where Wall was stabbed to death last October. Prosecutors are indicating the person in the video is defendant Michael Jackson Bolanos. But can police Police actually say the person on that video is indeed Michael Jackson Bolanos. Take a listen. I never said that. You, you didn't say that you believe Mr. that. Mr. Bolanos? No. You didn't say that. I never said through my um, direct who I thought that was. I, I referred to that person as an, an individual I was tracking. Oh, that you were tracking. Yeah, I didn't say. But you didn't leave. You didn't try to make the jury believe that this is Mr. <clears throat> Jackson Bolanos. I didn't say the name. No, I'm sorry. I tracked the person. Tonight at 5, Sean Lay brings us more of this cross-examination, including when this detective admits to a mistake that he made in tracking the person on that video. Well, we're learning more about the men in custody for the shooting death of an Oakland County Sheriff's deputy. Two of the suspects were free on bond in another case when Deputy Bradley Reckling was killed. The deputy was shot on Saturday night while following a stolen car in Detroit. That car stopped and the people inside opened fire. Two teenagers are suspects in the deputy's shooting. Both were previously arrested in March in another case, but were released on bond. We are not naming any of the suspects since charges have not yet been filed. We are tracking the investigation. But in the meantime, a vigil will be held tonight to honor Deputy Reckling. It's happening at Romeo High School at 9 p.m. Donations will be accepted to help the deputy's pregnant wife and three daughters. Well, if you spend any time on Facebook, the Monroe County Sheriff's Department has a pretty big warning for you. There is a scammer who is writing posts that claim to be raising money for the sheriff's office. Sheriff Troy Goodnow wants you to know that his office never seeks donations via social media. They also don't ask anyone to submit payments over the phone or via gift cards. So if you have given someone money or shared personal banking info, give the sheriff's office a call. All right, let's shift to the first forecast now this afternoon, starting with this live look at Belleville Lake. Smooth as glass out there. You should see some scattered showers this afternoon, but Kim Adams is standing by with when that rain threat clears out for us. Hi, Kim. Hi, Christy. Well, we only have a couple more hours where we could get a sprinkle or two, but we're not expecting heavy rain anywhere in Metro Detroit. In fact, most neighborhoods tonight will stay dry. There are some showers down to our south, though, as you just cross the Michigan Ohio border and you get down south of Toledo and Bowling Green and then you get to Kenton. That's when you see those showers and thunderstorms, but those are not going to affect us here in Metro Detroit as we are going to stay for the most part nice and dry. A uh, little humid out there, huh? 73 degrees is our current temperature out at Metro Airport 77 City Airport mid 70s in Pontiac 80 in Howell but the humidity is anywhere from about 71 to 84 percent out at the airport so definitely feels like a muggy evening but we'll have decreasing clouds as we go throughout the next several hours and temperatures will drop down into the upper 60s we'll talk more about the forecast for the Rocket Mortgage Classic and your weekend forecast in a few minutes sounds good we'll see you in a bit Ken thanks well, there's outrage in Illinois today after the suspect in a 4th of July mass shooting surprises everyone and rejects a plea deal. Robert Cremo III is accused in the holiday parade shooting back in 2022 that left seven people dead and 48 injured. Take a look. This is video of previous court appearances. Well, today he was supposed to plead guilty to 55 charges, but he changed his mind in court. The victim's families are stunned. And all I wanted was to be able to fully grieve my mom without the looming trial, knowing that he was going to spend the rest of his life in jail. And instead, we were yet again shown his complete and blatant disregard 
for humans, for anyone, for all of us in that courtroom. Looking down the road, the, the judge has now set a trial date of February of 2025. All right, are you ready for the first debate of the 2024 presidential election? It's tomorrow night, and one poll found that 60% of American adults say they are extremely or very likely to watch some part of this debate. It will be held in Atlanta, hosted by CNN. President Joe Biden will take on former President Donald Trump. Independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. did not meet the criteria to take the stage tomorrow. Now, while CNN is hosting the debate, you can also watch it live right here on Local 4 and NBC kicks off 9 p.m., followed by special coverage and analysis. All right, we'll buckle up for another In Your Neighborhood road trip. We have launched this special feature to highlight our local communities. We've already been to cities like Ypsilanti, Farmington, Trenton, but today it is New Baltimore, and that is where Karen Drew is working today. Of course, she's joined by Damon Fernandez. Hey, guys. Hey there, Christy. It is beautiful out here in Sorry. New Baltimore. Now, if you remember, we asked our viewers a while ago to vote for which city that you would like us to visit, and you voted, and New Baltimore won. Sure did. And while we're here to discover what's great about your city, we're also here to focus on some issues affecting you. Live at 5.30 p.m., Help Me Hank consumer investigator Hank Winchester will be joining us. And I'll tell you this, he held a restaurant meetup here a few weeks ago and heard from several people, including one woman who thought she was wiring money to a title company to to buy a condo, but ended up sending it to some scammers. Now, this is a scheme that could affect anyone, anywhere. So Hank will be joining us live to talk about that. Also, how to protect yourself, of course. Also, Rob Maloney, going to be our tour guide of sorts this afternoon. He has spent a lot of time in this town recently talking to people about everything from business development to what gives this city so much heart. He has the story behind this new Baltimore landmark as well. You're going to hear about the dedication, also the determination of residents to have old glory so proudly displayed in the city center. Also, we are learning there is always something happening in new Baltimore. They even embrace the unbraceable, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about fish <laughs> flies. We're going to see how they do that. I can't believe that they actually have a festival built around fish flies. Those little critters are flying around right now. We'll <laughs> also show you how even a Wednesday night here is exciting in the summer. Join us live at 530, whether you live in New Baltimore or whether you just want to learn more about your neighbors. That's going to be a fun time, and I think we're jumping on a boat, too. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> you seem a little tentative there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen. Chris, we're going to send things back to you. That I want to see. It looks beautiful out there. Thanks so much, guys. We'll talk to you in just a few.